the young and the restless spoilers shock. In the vibrant, leafy expanse of Genoa City Park, a light breeze rustled through the trees, carrying with it the sounds of laughter and joy. Amidst this idyllic setting, young Harrison stood surrounded by his family. His small arms encircled Summer and Phyllis in a warm embrace as he bid them farewell, his eyes sparkling with excitement. This was his first big adventure, and the destination was none other than the enchanting city of Paris. Paris, the city of lights, a place filled with endless wonders and joys for children. Its magic was something that had captured the imagination of many, but not Claire's. As the family prepared for their trip, it became increasingly clear that Claire was not sharing in Harrison's enthusiasm. Her face was a mask of discontent, her eyes distant and troubled. The question loomed large, why wasn't she excited about moving to Paris? What could be causing such a reluctance? Kyle, Harrison's father, was determined to uncover the truth behind Claire's reluctance. He couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. Claire, who had always been a pillar of support for the family, seemed different, more withdrawn. Her behavior was a puzzle that Kyle was desperate to solve. The answer came unexpectedly in the form of a text message from Claire. She had made up her mind, she was not going to Paris. I can't keep wasting my time, the message read, leaving Kyle stunned and furious. His immediate reaction was to blame Summer, convinced that she had somehow influenced Claire's decision. However, the reality was far from his assumption. It was Claire's own intelligence and clarity of thought that had led her to this conclusion. Claire had realized something crucial, moving to Paris was not in her best interest. It wasn't about the allure of the city or the romanticism associated with it. It was about her own time and what she valued most. This epiphany had struck her with such force that she could no longer ignore it. Meanwhile, Victoria, a seasoned matriarch, imparted some sage advice to her daughter. Never involve yourself in other people's battles, she cautioned. Don't make yourself a shield for someone else's fight. Her words were a reflection of hard-earned wisdom, and they resonated deeply with Claire, who was struggling with her own decision. In a desperate attempt to change her mind, Kyle pleaded with Claire to reconsider. Without you, there's no one to take care of Harrison, he argued. His voice was filled with desperation, his eyes pleading. He couldn't imagine making the move without her. But Claire was resolute. Her decision was not born out of a whim but a deep-seated understanding of her own needs and limits. The tension between Kyle and Claire escalated quickly. What started as a plea soon turned into a heated argument. Voices were raised, and emotions ran high. Kyle felt betrayed, unable to comprehend why Claire wouldn't support him. Claire, on the other hand, was frustrated by Kyle's inability to see things from her perspective. Their arguments were not just about the move. They were about deeper issues that had been simmering beneath the surface for a long time. Claire felt underappreciated, her sacrifices taken for granted. Kyle, overwhelmed by his responsibilities, had failed to recognize the toll it was taking on her. The park, once filled with the laughter of a little boy about to embark on his first adventure, now echoed with the tension of a family at a crossroads. Harrison, too young to understand the complexities of adult emotions, looked on in confusion. The excitement of his trip to Paris was overshadowed by the turmoil around him. As the argument reached its peak, it became clear that this was a pivotal moment for Kyle and Claire. The decisions they made now would shape not only their future but also that of their family. Would Kyle be able to understand Claire's need for independence and personal time? Would Claire be able to find a balance between her needs and the family's? In the end, it was Victoria's advice that provided a glimmer of hope. Her words about not becoming a shield in someone else's battle resonated with Claire. She realized that while she needed to stand firm in her decision, she also needed to find a way to support her family without losing herself in the process. Kyle, too, began to see things differently. He recognized that Claire's decision was not a rejection of him or their family but a necessary step for her own well-being. He understood that in order to keep the family together, he needed to support Claire's autonomy and respect her choices. As they stood in the park, the sun setting behind them, casting a golden glow over the scene, there was a sense of resolution. It wasn't a perfect solution, but it was a step forward. Kyle and Claire, despite their differences, found common ground.